what's up family welcome back to the channel this your boy jay to the all and we got another video for you today but first go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you don't want to miss these tutorials so let's dive right into it so let's just say for instance you're not very good at making cards you can't play the keyboard at all but you want to make a beat with a melody well i'm going to show you how in cubase by using a chord track ch O R D track. So the first thing you want to do though when doing that is go ahead and set you up a instrument track because this is going to be your reference track. We're going to use Halion or what Haline or however you see it. So this is going to be our reference track right here, and we're going to uh, let's use keyboard. We'll use a. Do they got a Rhodes? I like Rhodes. We'll do age suitcase. That will be our sound. Now in this this editors or rangers whatever you want to call it window, you want to right click and scroll all the way down to where it says chord track because we're going to add that. Now, the first thing you want to do is change this. You want to change this to the particular track that you want to pull the sound from. Otherwise, whatever track you click on, that's where it's going to pull the sound. So we're going to choose this one because that's what we got. Then let's go back up here to where we have our uh, keyboard sound then you want to go down here where it says chord so you want to make sure you have your inspector window open and you do that by coming up to the far right top where it says show hot left zone whoop -de -whoop, whoop -de -whoop, and there it is and it's going to say voicings from chord track that's what you want <clears throat> okay so now we got that set up let's get our chords together we're going to make this one a, uh, we'll just do a quick four bar loop. Get that out of the way. So we have four bars set up to where we're going to put our chords. And we'll just use maybe four chords. Then you'll want to go to the pencil fill and start drawing in your chord blocks so we'll just do it on one on every beat for right now just to show you and then we'll kind of add a little something different on that fourth one now that you got that down now you can go in change that back to the arrow double click on it this is the what they call uh this is going to show you the different kinds of chords that you can add. Switch it to the editor tab. Might be a little easier. So once you click on, it'll play the chord. So if you see, we just changed that to D. Major. Then you change it to minor. I like that. So let's keep that at E. See that? How it played that? So we got that one chord down. Then we'll click on the next one. Let's hear it. So if that one is E, let's make that an F minor. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's do the other one. Make that a C. Let's see what that sounds like. And I figure for this one, we'll do a D minor. Let's 
and we will resolve it back with a E minor. Let's see what, uh, I mean, an E. That's not an E. Let's see what that seventh sound like. loop that so we can hear it I don't like that so ooh I like that let's see So I'm just trying to find something that's going to resolve it. And we'll leave that at that. So now you have a basic melody set up, but we got some more for you. So let's say you have your basic melody set up. Then you want to come over here to your pencil on that particular track. And we'll just do one bar for now. Then you want to get the uh, hit the arrow and double click on it, and we are going to type in some various notes. Click the pencil. Now, listen to what, let's see what that sounds like. That don't sound great, but here's what you can do. You want to go click on that track. Now you will select chords. So now that particular data that we just made is going to follow the chord progression. And you see the note switched up to where it's going to be in key now. Now let's play it. You see that now we'll keep doing it out to four and each time it should change to this particular key let's play it Let's change this to something else. That is awesome. So then if you want to, let's change that up a little bit. Take that out, put a note right there, note right there, there, and one right there, and let's see what it does. Ha ha ha. Now that's really a, like a little too much for one bar that's going on. So let's, let's do something with that and just kind of keep it simple. Now let's see what that sounds like. Delete those.
kicked in it. Don't like that. Let's remove that. We're up a little too high. Move that down. And, oops. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see. That's decent, but let's. I made the mistake and undid it, so let's select all. I mean, and you can just play with it until it sounds however you want it to sound. say so we got that now let's just for the sake of discussion let's add a random drum loop to it <clears throat> we'll do, 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 do. I'm trying to find some drum loops MP3 beats. Well, I don't have any drum loops. I thought I had some drum loops readily available, but looks like I don't. Mm -mm -mm. That was a full of beats. So anyway, I digress. So again, this is how you use chord tracks. It's very helpful for someone that don't know how to make their own chords. And as you can see, I basically just with a few clicks of the mouse created a chord progression. It's awesome. So there you have it, folks. This your boy J to the O. If you like this video, go ahead and comment below. Hit that like button and I'll keep them coming. Peace.